the Margo. <laughs> That's the, we have two That's radars. Captain. Compass. We have a, a offshore navigator software. So this shows us where we are. We have a GPS that locates the boat. Tells you See, going left or right. <laughs> That's the rudder indicator. <laughs> That's important. Is that this is the porter starter? AIS, which is a, um, a system that identifies the boat. If you go to the port of New York, you have to be on the AIS system. So, and every other boat is on it. So you can tell if a boat is, Who is clean. near you, which direction they're going, and all the specs on the boat. Everybody's got the same information. Is this all specs? That's the Lockwood 1000. It's um, contractor's barge. We moved two. 150 foot long, 12 foot diameter pressure tanks for propane for an ethanol facility in Fulton, New York. And we have to pick up two more in New York City and bring them out to Fulton, New York on the Oswego Canal. And How far was that? Return. Um, the trip up to Oswego is about 160 miles and from here. From here and then we've got to bring the barge back to Virginia, which is about 500 miles. So these are steering. This is throttle. There's two sets of controls. That's steering right there, that one. Yeah, we also have a joystick. This is a steering too? Yeah, joystick. And we're currently at 41 feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes we've got all kinds of radios. Intercoms, radios. Port starboard. The boat holds 17,000 gallons of diesel and it runs a Fairbanks Morse eight cylinder OP engine and a uh, Detroit 371 generator. Um, the boat was built in 1958 by Jacobson Boatyard. It's a 92 foot tug. The engine has opposed pistons, so the pistons go towards the center. There's a camshaft at the top and a camshaft at the bottom. This is different because you know you got air systems to start the boat, you, but it's all the same thing. You got to have water, you got to have fuel. You know, it's all it's the same system, but they're just different locations and different sizes. Which is bigger? Wow! Look at this. To start the engine, you have to. We have four air flasks. You have two gen two compressors. You have to create a lot of compressed air, and then the the boat has an air start system where the air is injected into the cylinders in the same sequence of the starting order actually turns the motor over. There's no starter on the boat. It's all it's air start. The boat has a lot of DC generators. Some of them are run off of the engine and some of them are run off of the generator itself. For 150 amp service. It doesn't do, like you can't run the stove, but it keeps the refrigerators running and all the lighting. Because that's no what the big RVs use is a 15 amp. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, we plug it to 30, but yeah. You can't start the compressors. You can't run the stove because those are the big draws. And so you have to start the generator in order to start the air compressors. So has do you pump air into the pistons to get them going? Or is there into the cylinders, yeah. Can you actually So yeah, that's Charlie's room, that's my room. And how long at a time will you live here? A week, depending? Depending, on, depending on what yeah, the job is. Usually if we're coming through Waterford, we'll stop here, you know, overnight at least. So if we go down to Norfolk and come back, or go up the canal, we'll stop here. Come back from the canal, stop here, go back down, stop, you know, just take a break every... It's only about six days or seven days at the most that you're not through here, unless we do something like in Maine. Or it was almost scrapped, and then... A local group decided to save it, so actually it's down to Fort Walden today. They're doing a small quarter of Walden, and they've got a story out there down there in the port. Uh, and uh, so we um, got the Yeah, that's bad. Actually, they just, this was 